I sold um, a little bit above this close. I thought we're in a trading range, so we should get below this this high. And I thought we'd get uh, down to the moving average. That was enough momentum down that I thought we'd get there. Um, we bounced from right above it, but I still think these two bars are strong enough that um, even if we pull back, we'll get a second leg down. I only traded half size, so I'm willing to sell more higher. So I just exited there. Um, I think I made like three bucks on it, three fifty. I traded small so I could add higher. Um, I think it's okay to swing that, but I just know that we often get the two big bear bars, a pullback, a second leg from the two big bear bars, and then pull back for two larger legs, and then this entire thing becomes a first leg. So um, it's possible that we just collapse here, but I see um, that this move is often a catalyst for our second leg, but it happens 10 or 20 bars later. So we got a small second leg from it, but I think we'll probably get a larger second leg, but it might happen up here. So I'd rather wait for a pullback and sell higher. So we'll see what we get. I have an order to buy this low here. We had a spike in channel. Um, I was looking for a double bottom here and a signal bar, but we didn't get it. Instead, we got a pullback and a stronger breakout. So I think um, we should get one more leg up from this stronger breakout. Uh, consecutive closes above the moving average and potential measured move up. So we got filled there. I think we should get a new high and up to the, the high of this final leg. We might come all the way down here first. I have a wide stop down below here, but I think we should get a new high. And at least that's the high close. I got a half at 50 cents and um, I wanted to see it accelerate up so I just put my stop at break even. I could have scalped the whole thing but I probably should have in hindsight. But I wanted to give it a chance to accelerate up to here. Um, so I scalped that half at 50 cents and the other half looks like I'll get stopped out break even. Okay, so I ended up just taking the whole thing off there at 50 cents. So at 5.95, um, and for this trade here, um, I mentioned that usually when we get two big bear bars, even if we get a second leg down from this, it usually has to pull back and then create a larger second leg down. So this is the complex first leg, pull back second leg. Um, but the second leg, the pullback here was three bull bars. So I thought there'd be buyers at 50% or below that low and more lower. And by the time this thing collapsed, I hadn't priced in this low and more lower um, to set up my limit orders. So as soon as it fell, I just bought at the market. And I realized that I'm in the middle of where my two entries would be. If I bought here and a dollar lower or here and 50 cents lower, I just couldn't do the math quick enough of how I wanted to scalp out and decided to just exit around break even. I ended up losing like, uh, I think a little over two dollars on it. Um, so I made three fifty here. I lost two dollars here, and then made uh, five, around five here. That's why I'm at six dollars instead of um, five plus three fifty, so eight fifty. But this would have worked out had I priced it in properly. Um, I'll show the example right here. So this is common. Now we get the two legs down. Here I think we probably reached a measured move of, or close to it, a measured move of the two bodies. But pretty close to it. Reversed up, but this whole thing was one complex leg, pull back, and then second leg. And here we had the, almost exactly the same. Uh, signal bar for the high two, pause, and then another big bar to form the double top. And there were wires below. I think, I think that's pretty common. Here as well, wires below. So this one was buyers below for a new high. Today we didn't get that. We got buyers below and more lower and got back up above that low. But I just didn't, I wasn't quick enough, couldn't think quickly enough and ended up just getting out with a $2 loss there.
and um, this one did end up getting up to the cell climax high. So had I held, I may have been okay. I think it got pretty close to stop. No, it wouldn't have stopped me out here. So I would have been okay up here. I'm going to buy above this bar if it closes on its high. IOI buy signal at the moving average. I'm going to look to take off 10 shares at the high of day. Um, I'm wondering if I should take all off because it's a reversal day, so we're probably not going to go that much further above bar one high and might close near the open. So I don't know how much upside we have left, but it looks like a pretty decent setup. A uh, really strong bull trend pulled back to the moving average. So we got filled on half there, 10 shares. Tempted to take the whole thing off though, because it's a pretty good trade, a one to one already. Measured move up from the from the buy signal bar. And I don't know how much upside we have left, but that's a pretty good two bar breakout or a good two bar move up. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let I exited five more, and I'll leave the other five. I think that five shares allows me to be a little bit stress-free and still gives me an opportunity to participate in the move if it goes up. But half my shares, um, that feels like I'm giving up too much. So stop to break even. I'm guessing this is probably a final flag. Um, but after these three bull bars, probably need a second entry sell. It's pretty much the opposite of yesterday, actually. Um, spiking channel up. Aggressive reversal down, a flag below the low, and then a final climax. So here we had a spiking channel down, aggressive reversal up, flag above the high, and now potentially a final climax up. Tempted to take the whole thing off here. Um, pretty good profit. And I think it's a probable final flag, but these three bull bars make it unlikely to reverse here. So at least a little bit higher, but um, already a pretty good profit on this trade. So I don't know how much longer it can run until the odds start to shift in favor of the bears, or at least get back to 50-50. So I ended up just taking the whole thing there. I uh, treated this bar as a disappointment bar, exited at the high close. No real selling pressure, no reason to sell, but um, a really good profit already, potential final flag, and um, at the prior high of day, so I don't know how much higher we go, and uh, already a really good a really good profit, so um, at 25.85, which is um, really good for me. A uh, good way to end the week, made up for yesterday's loss and then some, um, so I'll probably be done for the day. Um, Nice to go into the end of the week or into the weekend with a nice profit. So um, unless something very clear shows up, I'll probably be done and be back Monday.